Today we're at the Messina Atlanta Dreams Playground, which uh, will possibly be demolished soon. Uh, the playground here was originally constructed in 1990, and myself and a lot of people were here uh, constructing this uh, marvelous playground. There's been met numerous complaints in the pa uh, past few weeks about uh, this being demolished and, and it's going to be re replaced with metal, metal and plastic. And this most of this playground is uh, made of uh, wood. So um, let's do a tour of the playground and what it currently looks here and uh, give everyone a show of it. Um, well, just to follow me. I have a camera. Here. Well, we have uh, uh, this. There were swings here, but they've been taken out, as you can up here. They're not here at the moment. Maybe they'll be replaced, these, the swings. And the, foot, the people swinging, the kids swinging over the years have worn this out pretty good, but this can be replaced easily, in my opinion. And, and um, stuff like this can be washed and, or, and uh, repainted, in my opinion. Still, still pretty sturdy. Those posters, real, when, they, when they did, when they constructed the playground, they dug pretty deep in here. I, I believe Messina Electric assisted with this. With their, uh, they had uh, some kind of mechanism to uh, dig into the, the ground to put these posts in. They're they're they're, they're in pretty good. Still, so, uh, let's see here. Which um, which space should I pick? That one? That door? Uh, entrance number one, entrance number two, or entrance number three? I don't have a. Um, should I, I? I don't have a. If I had a dime here or a co money on me, I would flip a coin, but. Uh, well, it, it's hard to decide which one to go through here. I uh, wonder where this one goes. Uh, yeah. I, uh, oh, yeah. I'm getting through here. Maybe I'm too old to play in the playground. But I'm getting through. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Yeah, you probably got a good view on my ass, but... Uh, there, got through. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying uh, playing in the play playground, acting like I'm eight again. Yeah. Well, I had it. Maybe I should just go down up the uh, uh, up on the slide. How do I get up there, though? Well, I, I'll go out. I find a way to get in there. What a maze this is. Oh, I'm up there. I'm up here. That slides that way. You're gonna get me. Yeah, we gotta go back this way. Having a hard time finding me, aren't you? Okay. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. No. Okay. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Ah! Jeez! Ah! Ah! I'm all wet. Well, it looks like I peed my pants for the way it looks here. Okay, okay I'm up in the um, one of the um, playhouses here, the uh, in the playground, and uh, now let's uh, go back to 1990 and watch the dedication of the Messina Land of Dreams playground. <laughs> Don't run away with that umbrella now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paul, and uh, good morning, everybody. Nice rainy uh, morning to start this off, but it certainly hasn't dampened the enthusiasm of everyone that's here, as we can see by the, the large crowd. Congratulations to these three people here. They were instrumental, along with, uh, I'm going to say, hundreds of other people in getting this thing started. And uh, it was a dream that they had to bring a nice playground uh, to the kids of Messina. They've done it. And in how many more days is it? It'll be all built. How many? 30th of this month. The 30th of this month it'll be built, and it's going to be a great addition uh, to Messina. This is going to be a beautiful area. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm sure you are too. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. And now uh, we'd like to ask Dwayne Hazelton, the supervisor of the town of Messina, for a few words. Dwayne? Thank you, Mark. And I would like to, to pass on my congratulations to the chairpersons of this great uh, community effort. And to the children, let me say that this is a community effort showing the support for the youth of our community and our future leaders. And we also look for great things from you in the future. 
But my congratulations again to the committee and to everybody that showed up today. Thank you. Thank you, Dwayne. And I'd like to introduce Sue Davis, superintendent of schools, who'd like to say a few words. Thank you, Sandy. Just very quickly, I don't know who's more excited today, the adults or the children, but it certainly is an exciting day, and I appreciate being invited. I'm especially pleased that you selected this site for the creative playground, because this used to be the site of the old junior senior high school, and I can't think of any better place than to have lots of children play where they've also learned. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sue. Now, before we have the groundbreaking ceremony, I'd like to just tell you that the people that you see here behind us are the people that really put this together. They're the chairpersons of all the committees, and they have done a fantastic job. I think they deserve a great big round of applause. Okay, now what we have here, Sandy, if you'll give me a hand, we'll get to... Uh... It's great doing this in the rain. Let's, let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay, this is, this is the playground itself. We are in this area right now, and this is the area that we want to break ground. This is the handicap area that will be excavated, and then we'll put uh, a lot of crushed stone in, and, and then the uh, astroturf on top of that. So if all the kids would like to come around and form right around us, stay kind of close to us, and we'll have the official groundbreaking. We start the uh, groundbreaking ceremony with the singing of the playground theme. Okay, let's okay, go. Okay, kids, let's go. Mm. I am still a child and I many paths to go. Many trails to follow, learning lessons as I grow. I want to see the world outside to wander and explore. I want to travel highways, open every door. But I can only journey to where my mind can see Cause my imagination is something that sets me free I think that's a very nice job, Kim. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, now if we all get ready and let's dig a hole. The ground is pretty hard. It'll be a great place to put the plate. Try to figure out how to. It's pretty uh, big maze here. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. Somehow I'll get out of here. I think I gotta go this way. So uh, this is actually fun. If I had someone to, uh, to do this with, it'd be fun running around in this maze somewhere here. I'll go this way, I think. I have to go all the way around. Cameraman had a hard time finding me. I'll probably never meet. Got some benches here. It looks pretty sturdy still, but it needs a good paint job. Some of the boards need to be replaced. That is monkey bars. Oh, I can do my exercises here. I get in shape again. Ah, oh, one, ah, oh, two. Oh. That's enough. I can. Whoa. Oh, out of shape. Yeah, uh, okay. Maybe uh, we'll go to the tires. We've got tires here, then. Oh. I don't know if I can get in here. Well. Oh. I don't know if I can get on. Ah. What? I'm... Uh, maybe not. Well, let's skip the tires. Let's skip the tires. Whoa. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's broken. Oh, to the ground. Hopefully that'll be repaired. 
We uh, have, uh, let's see what this is. Oh, I'll try this. Gotta try this. I have to try this. Ah! Whoa! Okay. Ah! Uh, what? Fuck! That, that was kind of fun. So that's still working. Help me, my big lard ass. Try again. Whoa! Ah! Oh, what? Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whew. Ah! That's, if that can hold me, that's still good. Whoa, I'm out of breath. But that was exciting. Boy, I, I, maybe I should come here every day and just exercise. I'll try that again. I kind of like this. Ah! Ah! Oh, whoa, whoa! Ah! Yeah, not enough of that. So let's continue a tour of the Casino Land and Dreams playground. Another bench people sit in. Also located down um, on the um, rails, these wooden rails all through the playground are people's names, people that donated for the construction of the playground. Um, it goes all the way down, all around. There's probably, I guess, maybe two, three hundred names of different, on these uh, little plaques. Sent, and since then, in the last 23 years, they've pretty worn out. They're, but these little plaques, um, they uh, do demolish the playground. Hopefully, they'll salvage all these plaques and give them to the families. And I look at these names, I recognize some of them already going through here. I recognize a lot of them. Monument for the Land of Dreams playground and also for the old Messina High School. Uh, the high school was demolished in 1986 and it sat right here, as I've said previously. And um, you can see Messina. High school erected MCMXV11. It's most likely 1916 in Roman, Roman numerals. And up here is the um, the uh, old bell from I believe the old Harrogate School, which was located where the uh, Courier Observer newspaper office is now uh, on Route 37. And um, here is the um, names of uh, many people on the monument. And um, this was erected by Carl Brooking, who was a, a school teacher at Messina High School, and Tom Drollhan. Carl Brooking has since passed away. Uh, some of the names uh, are quite familiar to me. There's uh, Walter and Marie Basmagian, who has since passed away. Uh, Shirley Boots uh, was Charlie Boots' his wife. She's passed away. Um, and I go through the list here. Many names. Messina class of 1945. I'm going down. I would I would name everybody on here, but it would take forever. Uh, Kevin Doherty, um, who was uh, killed uh, back, I believe, in the early 80s, late 70s. That was Bob Doherty's uh, son. He played hockey. The Henry Fiacco family. And I go down. The Comanius family. Let's see, I'm going down. The, the f name's very familiar to me. James A. Long, he was the director at the high school for athletics. Um, Charles D. Robb, he was the band director at the high school for many, many years. The Messina class of 1943, 1940, 1952, 1961, 1971, and the class of 1978. On here, is, this is named Edward Bouvier, that's my uh, grandfather on my mom's side of the family. Nick Viscovich, who since passed away. Um, we're going down, see if I know anyone else. Jo Joseph A. Romeo, who since passed away. See here, class of 1934 in Messina High School. Clifford J. Weger was passed away. He was a county legislator in Messina. Bob Wing. Harold Skeets Carroll was since passed away. He was a school teacher at the high school many years. It's a lot of familiar names on this plaque for the old uh, monument at the high school. We got the swings here. We're four here. It appears two are broken, and there's two left. And uh, it looks like this needs a good uh, whitewashing. So um, this concludes uh, tour of the Messina Land of Dreams playground. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And uh, let's see what the fate of this playground, uh, what fate lies in the future of this playground. <laughs>